Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of how to correctly fit the 3M 7500 series reusable respirator. Jen will now demonstrate how to fit the medium 7502 respirator. The procedure also covers the 7501 small and 7503 large models. Prior to fitting your respirator, make sure that your face is clean shaven. These respirators should not be worn with facial hair under the area of the face seal. Make sure that long hair is tied back and jewellery is removed so that it does not interfere with the seal to the face. To begin, remove the respirator from its box and bag and inspect the respirator and its components for damage prior to each use. Prior to fitting the respirator to your face, you should fit appropriate filters. Firstly, we demonstrate the fitting of encapsulated 6035 and 6038 series particulate filters. Before fitting, check that the filters are within their use-by date. Align the line on the inside of the filter to the arrow on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. You should fill the filters lock into place. 2000 series particulate filters are also fitted onto the respirator with a quarter turn clockwise. Again, you should fill the filters lock into place. To fit gas and vapour filters or combination filters, Align the lines on the inside of the filter to the arrow on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. Remember to always replace filters as a pair. The method of fitting the respirator to the face is the same regardless of which filters have been fitted until you reach the fit check. Place the respirator over your nose and mouth, fitting it comfortably on the bridge of your nose. Then pull the head harness over the crown of your head Take the bottom straps in both hands and hook them together behind your neck. Ensure the straps have not become twisted. Tighten the top head harness first by pulling on the ends of the straps to achieve a comfortable and secure fit. Tighten the bottom straps in a similar manner to secure the respirator. It should feel snug against your face, but take care not to over tighten. Strap tension can be decreased by pushing out on the back of the buckles. The 7500 series reusable respirator may also be used in an optional drop-down mode. See instruction booklet for further details. The seal of the respirator on the face should be fit checked before entering the workplace. If 6035, 6038 or 2000 series particulate filters have been fitted, a negative pressure fit check should be performed. For 6035 or 6038 particulate filters, Press the filter cover and filter body together between your thumb and fingers. Take special care to squeeze the filter in the middle. For 2000 series particulate filters, press your thumbs into the central indentation of the filters. In both instances, this seals the filter and restricts airflow. Whilst continuing to seal the filters, inhale gently and hold your breath for 5-10 to 10 seconds. You should feel the face piece collapse slightly. If it does not and you detect air leaks at the sill, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps, then repeat the fit check. If gas and vapour filters or combination filters have been fitted, a positive pressure fit check is performed by placing the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve cover, being careful not to disturb the fit of the respirator. You should then exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and no air leaks are detected between the face and the face piece, a proper seal has been obtained. If it does not and you detect air leaks at the seal, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps, then repeat the fit check. If you cannot achieve a proper fit, inform your supervisor and do not enter the hazardous area. The respirator should be cleaned at the end of each shift, dried at room temperature, and stored in a sealed container or bag. The performance of your respirator relies on an adequate seal between the respirator and your face to ensure contaminated air does not leak in. The method of measuring whether or not you have an adequate seal is to pass a face fit test. Fit testing should not be confused with pre-use fit check, which should be conducted every time you use your respirator. For more information on fit testing, 
please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash fit test respirator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. For further information, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash safety or call our UK and Ireland helpline numbers 0800-555-555.